Yeah, I'll go. What? I hope I'm going the right way. Shit. I'm not. North. North. Go north, you idiot. Why am I going through here? What the hell is this? What am I doing with this? <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm sure it's not timed. I'm so close. What am I doing? I'm freaking freaking out right now. All right. Follow this path. Alright. Go southeast a bit. And take the left. There's the fire and my camping is over here. There it is. Alright. All right. Okay. Get my fire axe out, maybe. That would be a good idea. Maybe I shouldn't run. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Huh. Left a cassette player taped to my damn door. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Well, let's see what's on it. Talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? I wish I knew. Man. I can't stop moving in my seat. It's going to be okay. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls, to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. All right. So the cave is over there. Let's go north east. There we go. Uh. Hmm. That generator sounds like an airplane. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter which way I take. Alright. Don't hurt yourself, boy. Crack. It's gonna happen randomly where he hurts himself.
Hey, you... You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout? It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not gonna happen, though. Thanks, Henry. I think I missed it, but oh well. I'm going to the beginning of it. No, it's right here. Never mind. Violent way of doing it. What the hell? Dude, that just shut. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please! Can't get any damn reception. Huh. <sighs> well then. Crap. <laughs> there should be reception right here. It's an opening. Jesus, this is a big cave. Hell yeah, it is. Pulaski. Squeeze on through, buddy. <sighs> this is crazy, bro. Really no light for... Really no need for light. Man! Freezing in here. Is anybody down there? I'm going to climb before I go down. Found a way out. I'm not dropping down though. Yeah, I'm gonna go back in there. I just hope nobody interrupts me while I'm playing this because there's people here now. Yeah, I'm gonna pause and just let people know. It's funny how. Like, I didn't, haven't been recording too often, because I have a lot of filming that I've done. I just have to edit a lot of it. I haven't been doing much of it, but I have a lot to edit. So I haven't really needed to film. But it's funny, whenever I do film, a lot of stuff happens at my house. Like, my parents want to talk, they bring me breakfast, my uncle comes over, and I have to pause this and pause that. And ugh. It's just funny how life works like that. <laughs> hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. 
Sounds really dangerous. Oh. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah. He built himself a real castle. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> wow. Read this. Brian Goodwin Hamilton, Science Fair, Rough Draft, blah, blah. Talking Meters. Oh, hammer this way. What if I told you, you, avoid second person? It's too converse, conversational for science. Oh, okay. What if I told you that you could use meteors in our atmospheres to talk to people far away? Question mark. You would probably think I was a liar, but you would be wrong. Meteors, the alien rocks that come to our planet from outer space can be used to bounce ham radio waves off of, off of what? Off of and let you uh, use your radio much better than normal. Right now you are thinking, okay, Brian, this sounds like a movie, like Flight of the Navigator. It's not real, but you are wrong. It is real, it is science. It is possible because of meteor scattered communications. My science fair project proves that meteor sca scatter communication is real, but what it is, <laughs> MSC is a radio pro propaga propagation mode that utility, utility utilizes the... I don't... I, Amaz, I can't read that one up. Lawn eyes, trails of uh, meteors within our atmosphere. Meteors upon their atmospheric entry can create a dense path of ionized p uh, particles that the ham radio operators can use to establish brief communications paths between operators up to 1,500 miles away. It's pretty cool. I'm going to test this by having a small chat with a friend my dad made in the army who lives in Albuquerque. Yeah, I got that right. Where are your own words, Brian? A uh, friend from Albuquerque, New Mexico. 1,000 miles from my house. We are going to try to talk at a regular time, but my hypothesis, hypothesis is that that won't work, and we will have to wait for a meteor shower so we can establish a communication. Then it's ripped off. So this was, yeah, sixth grade. Wow. This kid's smart for sixth grade. I, damn it. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. Yeah, he is. Dang. There's a dinosaur. Where? He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied. And just... 
said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear. His anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was gonna hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. It sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <laughs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. <laughs> There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half-elf armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. <laughs> There we go. Perfect. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah. Really? Uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him. You know, tinkering on stuff like that. This kid's sixth grade? Who know, how long has he been out here? Because holy crap, that's too smart. Postcard. Dear Mr. Z I'm with my dad in Lander, Wyoming. It's pretty neat. Dad fishes in a spot called Sinks Canyon. Sinks Canyon, whatever it's called. Most of them Wyoming lakes. Looks like home in Nebraska, but then there are mountains and woods when you go far. I'm sorry I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you found a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell my dad when school starts? Because I don't think he knows. Your friend and neighbor, Brian Goodwin. Two tornado. Huh. Man. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. Bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. He made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. Ah, I noticed the crack in the wall in uh, the cave, so, yeah. They don't want you telling anyone about. They closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? A, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? I got Honestly, I just... I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. <laughs>